Hello, this is Chris. Welcome back to Sweet Acre Koi Farm. Today, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our fine mesh filter and see if we can't clear this pond up. Let's get started. Okay, I've got two pipes with a milk crate. I've found these straps. I'm gonna strap three more on there, not tighten them. I'm gonna get it set up in the corner of the pond and then I'm gonna tighten the straps down. So that way I can put the pipes on an angle that I need to, to where they're sitting square onto the pond. Okay, there's another one. And this one goes here. Okay, and one more. That's gonna go here. Okay, now it's gonna be wobbly. Let me see if I can get you over here. I, I should have grabbed my, what do you call it? Um, yeah, I can't think of the name. Um, you know what I mean, tripod. But I didn't. And I'm in a hurry, so I'm not gonna go get it. I'll do this. And, there you go. You can see. Okay, so. We're gonna set it over here. And that pipe has got to be, there we go. So it's gotta be like that. You see what I mean? That way it's squared up there. There. Come on, get back over there. Out of there. That needs to go bye bye. Okay, there we go. This is, let me see here. This, hang on a minute. It's all this, I'm not gonna cut the hose. That way if I ever need a long hose, I can have it. It's gonna go back here and it's gonna go in there and oh yeah that's what I was gonna do duh here hopefully you can see here I'll grab the phone I've got it going through okay see I've got this on here so now it's attached to this so it's not gonna go anywhere and all I have to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach it to one of these. So that way it's not going to go back that way. You know, you get what I'm saying. And that way I'll snip these off, these extra pieces, and then I'll start laying my floss in there. So let me get that attached real quick and I'll get right back with you. Okay. What I did was I put the thicker strap in between the groove right there. See it there? And it's on there really tight. It's holding this strap and that strap underneath it. So that way the hose ain't going to go anywhere. There's nowhere it can go. So now I'm going to go get my snips. And I'm going to snip all the extra off. And we're going to fill this bad boy with some floss. And I'll show you which kind I got. Okay, I'm back. I got the tripod. Okay, this is the kind of batting we decided to go with. Um... I had talked to Dan from Everyday Fish Keeping, and this is the kind he uses. Now, I don't know if it's going to be too fine for what I want, but we already know that the filtration system over there is too coarse. It's not catching anything. And the white and the blue 
filter floss is not catching anything either. So I had to go with something a little bit finer. So this is what he used. I asked him about it on his last live and this is what he showed me. So this is what we're gonna use. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this away. So let me get this set back up again. And yeah, I know I got my Quisp shirt on and I don't have my, my Sweet Acre Koi shirt on. I know I'm in a Quisp kind of mood. Like a cereal, I don't know, whatever. But there you go. I'll put it like that so you can see what I'm doing when I get it there. Dang it. So we're going to cut away, gosh, all these rocks. Cut away all these. This one's going to be harder to cut away. Go. All right. One more. Okay. There we go. So we got those all cut away. We're going to go ahead and open the bag. That over there because I don't want that falling in. Okay. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. All right, this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. So we're gonna give this a go. And yeah, we're gonna see if this actually works. I hope it does. <laughs> Believe me, I hope it does. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut me a piece too though. I'm gonna make sure I get the right dimensions on what I need. That gives me an idea. It doesn't have to be per Wow, I keep almost stepping over these rocks and falling. That's not a good thing. All right, let me see. Let me finish cutting this really quick. Okay. I'm going to put this on the bottom. There's one. Right now I only want to do one layer because I'm going to show you why in a minute. Hang on. I am going to put another piece of this See what I mean? How it's it's white and then blue on the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna put another piece of this in here. And if anything, it might help catch the bigger stuff. I'm hoping. Put that up there. All right. I don't know if you could see the hose. Let me move you over here so you can see the hose. See the hose? There it is. All right. So now we're going to plug her in and see how this whole thing contraption works. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be strong and spitting out that side. All right. All right, let me adjust that. That's all right. We can adjust it. I just got to move you guys out of the way. Oh, come on. There we go. Stay still. All right. Give that a go. Looks like it'll be okay. Do I have another very thin rock? 
No, I don't. Now it's just going to have to be what it's going to be. So, already you can see it's catching some stuff. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure this out. I got to maybe get another tie and tie it down here loosely and hold it like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let me, oh gosh. Okay, sorry, I had to shut it off because it was spraying everywhere. I shut you off for a minute here. So we're gonna go back to the barn and we're gonna get another strap. Ugh. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We got this, we can do it. My goodness. I know it's a janky way to do things. Okay, here, we've got all these straps here. And I will put them back, because I know Hubby will be mad if I mess up his workshop. Here we go. And there, I cleaned up my mess. I put everything back where it's supposed to be. Okay, uh, is the light shut off? Yes, lights off, lights off. Okay, so we're all good. All right, so we got our strap we need. And I think if I hold this, I put this strap on there and hold it down. Oh boy, that that mole is gonna he gonna die. Oh, I need to put up a mole trap. These moles are going crazy over here right now. Okay, which is why we bought the liner we bought. It's industrial, it's not rubber. And we had to because we live in a farm. And I guarantee you that rubber liner would not have lasted a summer here. We had to buy this special liner. Uh, it's chew resistant, puncture resistant. Yeah, pain in the butt. But we had to because, you know, yeah, it w we would have just been wasting our money otherwise. And it doesn't make for a really smooth finish and look and everything. But hey, you know, sometimes you pick your battles. All right, so let me go in from this way. I will... Bring it like this. There. There, see what I did there? I just added enough to where it's gonna hold it when the, I hope. So let's plug this back in again. I'm going to be using this because I'm going to be shutting it off at night because I'm not running the risk of this thing overflowing at night. So, there we go. There. See? One little tweak. And yeah, I got to make sure this stays up. So, I'm going to need another... What do you call it? I'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, I wish I had a smaller pump that was slower. That would be nice, but I don't. Huh. Well, whatever. We'll let this go. I'll let it go an hour. And I'll come back out here and I'll see what we got. Maybe I need to add a little bit more fine in there. I don't know. I might. Maybe I'll add another one of those battings in there. The the, the blue and the white. Oh, I don't know. But it's coming out pretty good. See, this is why I hate here. Let me get this off the... There. I took it off the tripod so you can see the water coming out. There you go. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we catch anything. We'll come back in an hour and check it out. Okay. I've got more added there. There's a line. There's a white line on the bottom. And then this underneath it. And then 
I've got about 10 more pieces lining on top of that. And I just used this old stuff that I had that I hadn't thrown out yet as a splash guard because I noticed it's like really splashing way out here. So to prevent all that, you can see how it was splashing out. To prevent all that splashing, I went ahead and put that up so it will stop splashing. So it's all good. Yeah, this will be fine. I can actually put a clamp on it if I need to hold it up, but I think it's going to stay up. But yeah, so there we go. Looks like it is starting to catch some stuff, which is nice. So we'll come back in about an hour and see what it looks like after about an hour. All right, here we are one hour later. There you go, guys. It looks like it is working. It is catching some stuff, which is nice. So hopefully, hopefully this will work. And I'm going to show you our reference guide. Here. Where I'm, this is where I'm going to go to check the clarity of the water. Because the water is really, really, really dark now. And you really can't see too much. So here, I don't know if you could see it, but right here, this line, that's the top of an upside down basket. Okay, and that basket is only, you can see right there, where, where's my finger, there it is. You can see right there that it's not even up to my knuckle. It is literally only that deep. So, and you can see how you can't really see it very clear. It's not a really clear picture. Yeah, yeah, I can't see it. All right, anyway, but I can see it. So I'm going to be going by that. And you can see the green hue coming out of the fall. So we'll be keeping an eye on that as well. But okay, we will keep you updated on everything that's going on and how this new contraption we just built this morning is gonna work. I'll keep checking it, like I said, every hour and change it out as necessary. And we'll see how long it takes to clear this pond up. All right, well, thank you for all of our new subscribers. And those of you who are not already subscribed, think about subscribing, hit that notification bell so you can follow along with us and see if this contraption we just built is going to actually work. It looks like it will. How long? We're not sure. But, yeah. If you'd like to follow along with us, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And everybody, thank you for watching. Stay sweet.